in this video we will see that uh, how to send two different data to the thingspeak website in the previous video we have seen how you can send only one single data you can see i just have opened my thingspeak and here the data is getting updated continuously uh, so you can see the last data came and uh, this data came at the same time that means this both the data are coming at the same time you can see it is getting updated so let us try uh, let us start this particular uh, video with that how to create a channel and how you can send multiple data. so for that you need to go to this uh, things pick then you need to go to channels and by default you can only create four channels at a time so let me do one thing so uh, let me delete one channel here and i will create one more channel for you okay so i am just deleting this channel you can go to this channel settings and then you can delete it after that i will create a new channel here so in the new channel i'll just uh, write here in classes multiple multiple data i am going to send here so multiple data and here i need two different variables so one variable by default it will be enabled when you create a channel if you need another variable you can click on click on this activate that one and like this you can go till eight variable you can create so let me save the channel and the channel will be created and from this channel in the program i need only two things are required one is the api key that is generated by the channel you can go to this api tab and get it and then this url so this url also you can remember it's just api.thingspeak.com and then update then the api key is there so now let us go and write the program so here i have already written the program you can see it is continuously sending the data so let me just uh, create a new program here we will start from the beginning and to this i will stop this okay fine so here uh, to start the program i need to import three different libraries so one library will be required is requests okay so request library is required to connect to the uh, I mean send the data then i need one library as time because as i said it is going to update in 15 second interval so we have to give a delay time in the programming and then i need to import one more variable uh, one more library that is random because in this case i am going to generate a random number as a data and i am going to send that if you have any sensor data in your raspberry pi you can send that as well okay so i'll write while true so while true i am why i am writing so i want that this program will continue till i don't stop it and it will be continuously sending the data fine so uh, before i start writing the data and uh, i'll just print a statement here so what statement i am going to print just i am going to print sending data so that i'll know that okay the program has started after this once the data sends complete uh, complete means data sending is complete i don't want to print the sending data so i need to end that and for that i need to write this command that is end equals to r so it will overwrite next whatever i want to print it will overwrite on the sending data print so that's why i'm writing this next let us create the data let me take data one is equals to so i'm going to generate a random number so from the random library i need the function rand integer and let me generate a data from 10 to 50 so any random data i'll be generating and then i'll take data 2 also i'll generate here so data 2 is i'll take again random library and then from there i want to find random integer so that i'll create let's say between 50 to 100 you can take any value there fine so next is uh, important factor is the url okay so the url i have to get it from this thing speak website so see here right channel feed is written there and api request under api request it is there so copy this url till the api key is here fine so you can take the api key and then you can paste it here and this url is a string here so i need to write that in a string and also i want to write the values in the data values inside that so i'll use the f command here and after this key so what you have to do uh, the uh, you have to write and here and write field uh, sorry field one equals to which data i am sending to field one let's say i am sending the data one just write data one then you write again and here then write again field two so second variable in the website i am going to send the data data two here i'll write here and i'll end the quote here 
so i have started the quote here and this one is ending the, uh, the quote is ending here fine so actually this much thing can uh, do your job but i need to confirm that whether my data is sent or not so for that i need one response from the website okay so i'll just take a variable as response and this response what i am going to do so from the requests i am going to use the function get here and for which i am going to get it for the url that i have created here fine so next i am going to print the response because if the response code becomes 200 then only the data sent is correct if the response code is anything other than 200 then you may not get the data so here i'll write print I'll write print uh, the response code is so response code is the response variable I have taken I'm just writing that so this response variable I have created here I'm writing the same variable here now once the response code we got we need to print also that what data it is sending okay so that we can verify that whether whatever data sent is it the same thing being displayed on the website so that's for that i'll write data sent here and i'll print the data values as well what are my data values one is data one one is data two fine so next as i said i need to give a time delay to the system why the time delay is required because i need to wait the program to wait for 15 seconds before it sends the next data so here i'll write time to sleep 15 so that's it the program is complete now and it can send the data to the cloud so let's run this and see what happens okay i have to start the kernel think uh, because of this there is a issue no so uh, it is taking some time to start the kernel so as you can see here it has started sending the data and the first data sent uh, we got the response code as 200 that means data sent is successful and data sent is 28 and 29 and it has started sending the data again so let us check in the website where to check go to the private view there and in the private view, you will see that the data we are receiving here, fine. So, one data is 29, this data is 91. So, because the data length is similar, so it, the graphs look same. So, let us wait for another minute. So, next data is 41 and 67. So, let us see whether I am getting that data or not. So, one is 41 and 67 I am getting. So, in this website also, you can do one more thing. Go to add widgets and if you want to see the data as a numerical value, you can choose that also. So here I'll take for field one, I will create one numeric. Again, I'll go to add in the field uh, for field two also, I'll do the same thing. So this is field two I have added here. Now you can see below two, uh, again, two widgets are added, which is, which are displaying the current value of the variable, fine. So current value is, you can see it is 25 here and it's displaying 25. This value is 74, it will get updated. So this is 74, okay. So like this, it, uh, you can write a program where you can send two different values of the data, uh, different values of variables or two different data to the ThingSpeak website. And this number of variable can go up to eight also. So in this website, there are multiple things you can do. You can add visualization if you want as a graph or anything, you can use that also. And uh, also you can uh, go to export recent data, then you can export to Excel file or CSV file also you can. Either you explore all the files or you um, in export single files also you can do. Okay, this is very simple here. And uh, next we'll try, next videos we'll try to uh, uh, use other um, cloud platforms as well like AWS and Firebase how you can send the data there. So thank you for uh, watching this and uh, please see the next video to get some more updates on how to use to other cloud platforms. Thank you.